my life be like. Ooh, wow. yeah, ooh. Hi, my name is Daniel, and today we are going to be filling this Celebrita. It's a 70 inch grappling dummy, and we're going to make some modifications uh, to the dummy, and we're going to see how it works. So, ordinarily, you fill this with punching bag stuffing, which is basically just strips of clothing, uh, miscellaneous strips of clothing, but I'm going to try and see what happens if I make a skeleton out of it using this three-quarter inch PEX pipe. Uh, this PEX pipe is pretty inexpensive. Uh, you can get it from Lowe's. This stick was 10 foot and it cost under six dollars. Um, and then I'm going to wrap the, the top of that PEX pipe with these pool noodles. Uh, these are three bucks a piece. These are the mega, mega noodle from Dollar General. Uh, the noodle fits directly over the top of this three-quarter inch pipe. So my thought was, uh, if I'm doing this grappling dummy and I'm doing some type of Kimura trap or something like that, it's gonna give me resistance, like where it's gonna wanna straighten the arm. Also, whenever I do some heel hooks, I'm gonna see how this works. I'm not sure how it's gonna work yet, but I'm gonna cut myself little feet and I'll, I'll show that in the video later. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to cut feet, I'm going to make it a 90 degree angle, put an elbow on there, put a brass elbow on there, clamp that with just pex clamps, and that way this celebrita foot, which actually has a heel, I can actually put that in the bottom of the heel and give it some structure, so if I'm practicing heel hooks or something like that, then uh, hopefully that's going to work. So I'm going to use these straight pieces of pex in the legs. And then I had a bunch of this left over from another project. This is uh, just a coil of, of pecs. And my idea right now, and this is subject to change, but I was thinking if I put the curves, curved pecs in the arms, it's actually gonna make like, um, where the arms are gonna be like this, so that I can manipulate the arms uh, more than if they're just straight out like this or straight out like this. So I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work and uh, I have no doubt that I'm gonna to have to make some modifications uh, along the way. But uh, this is the 70 inch Celebrita and I'll leave the link uh, below. But this Celebrita cost me uh, $100 and then with the pecs and the foam noodles and stuff, it'll be $30 or somewhere in there, but I'll show how to how I'm gonna do all of this and like I said I'm probably going to have to um, Manipulate my plan along the way because this is the first time I have done this and I'm not a hundred percent certain that everything is gonna work How I thought so there we go Okay, we're gonna cut out our pecs feet first and I don't want these pecs feet to go all the way back to the back of the heel I want it to kind of come in front of the heel so I'm just gonna roughly measure here. Make that cut, make the other one the same size. All right, now I'll measure out for my legs. So I want my legs, I'll probably just cut this in half. Probably just cut it in half. I want my legs to come all the way down and up into the abdomen. So that's about right. And then I'll leave a little extra too. I'll leave one to go all the way up in the abdomen, that's fine. So uh, then I have these pex rings, I'll need four of them. And then I have these pex elbows. I actually bought the plastic ones, but I thought that's probably not gonna hold up up to what I'm planning on doing to this thing. So put my rings on just like this. Get my crimper. And I will just crimp this side. There's one. And here is the other one. Thank you. 
All right, so we're just gonna cut this pool noodle. Uh, I'm actually gonna cut it at 45 to make sure that I'm covering this. We will need a knife. So that's gonna be like that. Right there. One side, there. All right. Make sure that's turned right. Okay. Make sure no furniture is around you while you do this, or else your furniture <laughs> is going bye-bye. Yeah. So our couch just did. Yeah, luckily, luckily mommy's not home, so <laughs> she's not gonna freak out. Yeah. She probably won't watch this video, so that's another good thing. All right, here we go. But if she does, we're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. All right, boom. Two legs. Let's see. That guy's gotta turn around that way. Alright. Two legs, one head, two arms, and one chest to go. Two legs. We will pack the uh, we'll go down and pack these legs. Uh, that's one thing I don't want to do in my living room. We'll pack them downstairs and uh, pack these legs full of stuffing and then we'll work on the arms. Alright, we're down here in the basement. Uh, I'm going to use this coil, as I said before, I want to make the arms kind of where they're somewhat curved and not straight, so uh, I'm going to get a rough measurement here and make this cut. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go from one arm to the other, it's going to be about right there. Stay right there, Ben. Stay, stay back there. All right. So I kind of learned from doing the feet. If I recess that uh, that pex in there a little bit, that'll keep that pex from popping out the end. There we go. Nice. All right. I think that'll be. Oh, I got a little bit poking out. All right. So I think that'll be perfect for Kimura trap. Boom. Yeah, boy. All right. So I shelled out probably uh, 40 or 50 pounds of these shredded clothes that came out of this bag. And you didn't uh, have the John Cena the foam out. That's right, and I didn't know uh, how much I'm actually gonna need, so I actually left some here in, in, in this bag, but I'm just gonna start at the legs and start packing everything, make this as heavy as possible. Uh, this foam rubber also came out of here, which this foam rubber weighs a little bit more than the clothes wheel, so I'm gonna try to put it uh, mostly in the head and in the torso area. But I'm gonna the start chest. Off. We need the chest. We need the chest. So uh, I'm gonna start with this, and I'm just gonna start packing it, packing it down. I think that's a little too much, Dad. So as you can see, I'm mostly done with this leg right here, and it's just taking a, a lot of time to take these pieces, put them up, and then I'm taking this little piece of scrap pex that I have, and I'm just stuffing it down, just more and more and more. And one thing interesting about this dummy that I didn't notice before is these actually have a little knee to them. Uh, there's a little bit extra material here, so they actually have uh, a knee joint. And you can see some of this 
stuffing hasn't got exactly where it needs to be, but I'm just going to keep packing with this piece of uh, PEX and we'll see how it turns out. So we're to the arm stuffing part and this one is pretty tricky. So once again, our scrap piece of uh, PEX, when I start to grab this and I start to push it in, this PEX will curve right around that arm and come to the very end. See how that's going in there? I mean, there is no way I, I can get a human hand into there far enough to be able to stuff that wrist and that hand. So I'm just working this in here with this piece of PEX pipe. Just like that. So I just got done uh, filling up this Celebrita dummy. Uh, it probably took an hour and a half. Uh, it was a long time, but uh, it was a lot to get past the foam noodles that are in these joints, or are in the in their arms and stuff just because they're they fill up so much of the arms but anyway i'm done so i'm gonna weigh him i'm gonna clean up what i have around here and put the excess back in in there for another dummy uh, and then we'll try it out here in just a moment so i just got done packing uh the dummy i have one long uh, piece of pex with a foam noodle coming from his left leg all the way to the top of his head which is nice uh for neck cranks and stuff like that. I definitely feel some resistance there. I have another piece of pex in his right leg, and then I have one piece of curved pex going from arm to arm. Um, so we'll just kind of try out some of our basic drills for the grappling dummy here. So uh, one easy drill to, to start with is gonna be the mousetrap drill, which I'm here, I go for Americana, and I break the arm with the Americana, boom. He comes up, I come back down into the straight arm bar, break that arm, there we go. Come back up, down to the Kimura. So I'm here, hip up, shoulder, uh, elbow by the shoulder, I'm here pinning the other arm, bang. That's gonna be a break there. Also what feels good is there's so much resistance with these arms that it's when you are inside control on this guy, it actually feels like he's building a frame on you. So whenever I'm here in a side control, it feels like he's stopping my hip here. So that, that's awesome for me. So I climb over, boom, trap the arm, keep coming around, boom. Just like real life, right? So then, I'm here, and gather the other arm, boom, get behind the head, to there, boom, plant the arm, of course go to S mount, I can snap here, his one arm is buried, I can do that, uh, I haven't tried the leg locks, so let's try, let's feel how the leg locks are, so, basic leg lock, basic leg lock, outside Ashi, I can hit here this outside heel hook. That feels pretty good. I do feel, I feel pretty good with that. Pretty good there. The leg is pretty straight, which is actually what most people do on me anyway, whenever they're doing a uh, uh, defending it. So from here, boom, boom. I definitely feel that one. That one feels really, really good. So from here, I'll go up to here to reverse Ashi. Pretend that he's defending the leg. Boom, get this toe hold in, bang. That's definitely gonna work. Come back here, come back down for the knee bar. Boom, that one's dead. So he feels pretty good. He feels about like I suspected. Uh, the, uh, his position from side control actually feels better than I thought just because I definitely feel that pressure on my on my hip there, so that's more of a, a realistic uh, place for him to be is against my hip than if the if we were just straight up or straight down like this. So I would call it a success. The whole thing took about two hours or so to do everything. So you're gonna need, if you were gonna do this again, you're gonna need uh, four pool noodles, about uh, 16 feet of PEX pipe, uh, 
somewhere in there, three quarter inch PEX pipe, uh, PEX tool. If you want to do the feet, then you're going to need uh, two brass elbows, three quarter inch brass elbows, uh, and then you're going to need a PEX crimper and uh, the PEX rings. But that's it. I got about, I got $100 in the Celebrita. I have about uh, $30 in other materials. So that's it. For 130 bucks, you can do this and do many repetitions at home. Hard work, work. Banging on the doors in the morning. Hard work, work. Get up, let's go to work. Hard work, work. Hard work, you bag of your shoots. Hard work, work. Hard work.